Okay, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Got it. Oh, wait. Bathroom. Holy cow. Whole bunch of cat food. Uh, network office? Wow. Oh, wait. What is this? That's a tall person. 14 hours ago. This was really recent. I am here. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? Uh, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's, it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that Venturus regulations forbid contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm just... Be careful. Oh! He wanted help, but he, he can't tell her to help him. He can just explain what could happen. Not, you know, what should or telling her to do something. What is this? Hey there, um... Wait, wait, wait. What do you got going on your data pad? Ha, ah, sure. Let's start there. I'm an Obsidian Class AI branch in continuous operation for 180 years. Fully compatible of organic thought and reasoning. Now continue with detailed technical specifications. Okay, mate, listen. What's your Caprice score for independence? 4.68. All right, we're going to work on getting that number up. You and me. Oh, she was trying to make him independent. Welcome to Coma Crew. Oh, this was one year ago. So when they first started, it's been a whirlwind couple days of onboarding and loading out. And I know most of us are still adjusting to life in orbit, but I just wanted to say how excited I am to be working with all of you and Odin. A little background on myself. I come from an aerospace manufacturing family. One of my sister's first jobs at the factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth, <laughs> was helping to build pieces of this very station we're floating and walking around in right now. I'm the first of my family to actually leave Earth and work on one of these facilities. And I've been up, oh, down, down, down. Really looking forward to getting to know all of you over the coming year. Or need to pass anything along to Ventures Brass? Let me know. Yeah, uh, very austere. I mean, corporate modern chic. What did you expect? How's your new best friend? What's his name again? Odin. Is his name. And I mean, he's fine so far for an AI. Kind of a cold fish, but I'm working on him. They're trying to get one up here on Tangiers. You know, it's all the elf talks about. I'll believe that when I see it. Okay. I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello, I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. That was it? Okay. Cognitive tracking. Oh, she was making him really creative, independent, abstract, permanence, compliance. Oh, his compliance started going down. Yeah, good for you, Natalie. Oh, got that. And we have her ID. She is from... I don't even know what that is. Oh, Australia. A-U-S. Okay. Victoria, it looks like. This month, Odin has been making small but steady gains in efficiency as per company directives. I've additionally been putting some of my own time into increasing his Caprice ratings in creative impermanence, which you'll find I've projected to have much more significant overall gains in productivity in the long term. Which you would know if you read the report I submitted as of six months ago, which I still haven't received a response to. In fact, you know what? I've never gotten a response to any of these. I know the system will give me an automatic demerit if I don't turn one in every month, but are human eyes even on these things? Let's find out. Hey, F you guys. Also, Odin's gone crazy and massacring the crew. The station is full of mutants. Help. Sincerely, Nat. <laughs> uh, wow. Hey, Sarah, you're, you're going to want to see this. I asked Odin to search up some stuff on the Venturus Techni Technician Records DB based on what you were asking about. And Venturus Orbital Techni Technician Support 
Fountain Paradise. Oh, this is what happened to her AI. That's what happened. All of his stats were going down. Standard automatic battery judgment in uh, da -da -da -da, Singapore. That's why the company wants her to take, you know, take fault in it. But the AI was the one in fault. Look at that. All the intelligence quotients went straight down almost. The responsiveness was basically zero. Okay, that's why. And they want her to take the, the fall for that. Dude, she really likes this, this band. <laughs> All right, so let's go see what's going on with Odin's area. Data access by authorized insurance pe personnel only. Oh. What is going on in here? Is this... What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women, the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma, lost their lives serving Venturas. What? And all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose Wow! We at Venturus say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. Oh. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Wow. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what? Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Whoa! That is... That is some diabolical corporation stuff right there. Off-station message with confidential. Tacoma rescue craft launch scheduled. T-minus one hour. Tacoma rescue craft launch canceled. Relaunch scheduled for unscheduled. The rescue craft departure has been intentionally canceled? Yes. Without a rescue craft, the crew will expire from lack of oxygen or cryo sleep exposure within 12 hours. Unfortunately, circumstances outside of your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about... Wow! Even Odin was trying to help, and they just said nope. Prepared especially for Sergio Venturi. Following the failure of the Venturis Blocked Orbital Worker Safety Bill in OCEP, Congress, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accord being repealed. Without a repeal, Venturis Belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I have s simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive OCEP Congress votes. Simulated world events include precipitous decline of the orbital market, an extended strike by orbital workers, the assassination of OCEP members opposed to the HOA, and more. None of these definitive motivated repeal of HOA and simulations. However, 
In the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to accident, not caused by negligence, I calculate a 94% likelihood of the Accord being repealed within three months following this incident. This would allow Venturis belt facilities to begin operation immediately. Following this, I estimate a reversal of Venturis block stock decline, resulting in a record stock price within one year. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, Juno. Is there a facility that you would consider an ideal candidate if they were to move forward with your recommendation? Seriously, they planned it out? Based on low public profile of crew on board and projected financial impact of their loss, the best option currently is the Venturis fleet would be Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. I would recommend renewing all crew members aboard for a successive posting on Tacoma to allow time for a logistical organization of this operation. Wow! They purposely let it go. Holy cow. Off station message with VT handler account 717. New top tier AI directives transmitted overrides all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communication channels accessible by crew, fabricate data showing that oxygen and comms outage were caused by meteor impact, ensure crew enters cryogenic stasis, stasis ASAP, AI shall not contravene any aspect of the above directives, provide crew with any information contradicting the above scenario. You are, these are your orders, effective immediately. This will not endanger the lives of the Tacoma's crew. No, a rescue craft will be dispatched to retrieve them once they are in cryo. Proceed with the above directives without exception. We will be monitoring your actions via secure comms connection directly to Odin unit. Wow. Wow, he did it. It, and he made them all think that it was a, a meteor. Wow. If someone were to override that protocol, external communications channels would be restored. Odin, thank you. Oh, he Scan did help any us. Ship, any ship within radio range of Lunar Transfer Station, Tacoma. This is an SOS. Is anybody out there? Oh, he did it. He helped him. Holy cow. Communication lockdown manually overridden. Restored. Signal established recalibrating. Oh, yes. Sarah, you're the savior. I love it. All right. Odin, you did a good job, man. Randomly generating confirmation passphrase. Zebra Foxtrot 853. Final contractor confirmation pin code for entry on physical wetware interface. 0451. Zero, 0451. Yeah, AS. Uh, so cool. Okay. Is that an AI core? Odin, you're awesome. And Natalie, too, for that matter. So, are they frozen? 14 hours ago. They would have died in 12, so two hours ago they would have... Well, let's see what's going on here. Records show that AI cognition medium has been successfully removed. Please return to your vessel immediately. Deliver coordinates for the Venturis HQ have been provided. Payment will be made once AI integrity is verified. I am not going to give this back to them. I hope that they give you a choice. I'm not giving it back to them. There's no way. No way. So the company purposely did this because the bill and Congress didn't pass. And because the bill didn't pass, they were going to lose a whole bunch of profits. And so they needed to do this. That way people would be against the bill or before the bill. Pa oh, God. They want to pass it no matter what. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I have all the info now. I literally have the AI and all the information from the AR stuff. Oh, dude. We are. We have to go and show the world this, right? I'm hoping. Let's go. Come on. Leaving the engineering module. Yep, we just have to get back to our ship and we're good to go. Hopefully, well, I'm going to go back to the cryo chamber because I want to see if they're still here or not. They have to. They had to have escaped. Please. Or maybe, I mean, I can't save them now. It's been, it's been too long. Cryogenics right there. Recoverable AR crew recorded, recorded 10 hours ago. Yes. The drone didn't work. Oh. Wait a minute, what are you doing? Nothing? Sierra's got me on the gurney on the way to transfer. God, it's gonna feel good to be out of gravity. It's so good to, it's, it's going to feel good to be off this station. It's gonna feel good not to be dead, <laughs> love you, yes. Everyone's awake, look at that. Two hours left of oxygen. I love it. Yeah, I'm seeing stories going up on public ARs already. Here's everything you sent that I got out of my free press connections. Tacoma comms records, unedited. Hell yeah, thank you. Okay. There's no way Venturis is coming after you with all this info out there, but still, need some place to lay low. Yes, they did get out. Can't, our ride's headed the other way, but I'll see you when I'm back, Jupiter. Yes. Okay, awesome. She did wake them up. I love it. So, VT is picking us up. Uh, no, VT is definitely not picking us up. Well, what's going on then? Andrew? We're going to Jupiter, Andrew. Isn't that exciting? Oh, I've never been. <laughs> now, give him a break. <laughs> oh, is he all jacked up? We're not going to be home for a while. Right? You're not going to miss your kid's graduation or anything, are you? Oh, Nicholas, no, no. Yeah, you know, Nicholas, why he would never do something like that. <laughs> he is all spaced out. <laughs> she said they'd be kind of out of it for a while. Yeah. Um, Andrew, what's important is we're getting out of this alive. We're going to be somewhere where VT can't touch us for a good long while. We're going to be safe. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. He's all drugged up. I love it. Hi. Evie, Clive, you feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. <laughs> We're feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody, our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. All right, let's go. But Odin can't go with you. You, why didn't you take Odin with you? All right, let's go back. What happened? Why didn't she take Odin with her? He's still waking up. Just keep him talking. So, so, so the drone worked? No. Where did you go, Sarah? You waking everyone else up? Oh. Let's do this. Actually, oh. Are you feeling when we get done? I think I'm still <laughs> waking up. <laughs> How many fingers are this? Sarah, are you coming? Okay, oh, there you are. Birds. Your vitals look good. Let's get you moving. The resplendence dinging is just about docked. <sighs> We have to. Oh, we have to. Believe me. Uh, so what's going to happen with Odin? You said there was some sort of malfunction? No, not exactly. My guess? They'll have some vi- Oh, wait, wait, wait.
Germ, old boy, you're famous now. Breaking corporate rival carnal carnival and daring rescue of stranded. Station Tacoma are currently being rescued from certain death by the flagship vessel of their main competitor, the Resplendence Carnival's state-of-the-art long-term excursion passenger liner is currently slingshotting past Earth around the sun, continuing its figure eight course back out past Jupiter. While cruising towards Earth's space, the Resplendence received an SOS. Only moments to act, Resplendence Captain Germain, yeah! Okay, you know what? I was talking crap about Ger Germain earlier. I, he's a good guy. Obviously, he's a good guy. Gallantly deployed an emergency shuttle to retrieve the rival corporation's crew. The rescue operation is still underway, but already Venturus, something is caused by a crew member's illegal access to the station AI. Resulting, yep, the AI unit is currently being retrieved by technical experts and returned to Venturus HQ for a thorough inspection. Yeah, good, good luck with that. Venturus, why would you take it back to the people who own it? Who obviously did all the wrong stuff. They were just gonna erase it. Nat Burt comes her up. Check your AR. I'm going to wake everyone else up from cryo, then I'm coming back to mech to get you. Everyone else, if you're reading this, you woke up. Thank God. Rescue vessels on its way. We have, what the? Just thankful we're all alive. Let's get the hell out while this getting's good. Wipe him back to baseline. But my guess, they'll have somebody up here and haul him back to headquarters. Wipe him back to baseline. Probably have to replace the station AI entirely while he regrows. Oh no! Odin, I'm not gonna let that happen. Okay? Don't worry. Wait! Well, who's she calling? Please tell me she's calling somebody. Hassan? Who is this? I'm Sarah. Sorry, I'm Sarah from Tacoma Station. Nat, give me your info. Sorry, but it's urgent. I was hoping I can ask you for a favor. Yes! Please tell me that I'm working on his crew. Dear Mom and Dad, I know you've probably already seen Tacoma in the news and who it seems they've decided to point the finger at again, and I'm sure you're worried about me, but getting off the station now, no matter what you read or hear, the crew survived this because we all pulled together to find a way out. This was no malfunction, it was deliberate. I know eight months sounds like a long time, but just remember, I love you. I'll speak to you when I can. Yes! Hopefully I'm working with the other people. You feeling okay? I'm feeling okay. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay, everybody, our ride is here. This is it. Take one last look and say goodbye. Yeah! Please tell me that we're part of the good crew, not the company. That would be the ultimate twist, wouldn't it? I'm part of the company, and we're gonna just erase it all, and all the crew now is fugitives. Oh, God. Gotta put these back. Oh, wait. Attention, subcontractor. I am now overseeing entity of this operation. You report to me. Contractor shall return all of Insurer's AI components to specified delivery location immediately. Contractor shall purge all confidential data encountered while on Venturus property. I trust there is no need to remind you of the severe consequence of de deviating from the above. Be seeing you soon, Juno. Yeah, you're not gonna see me soon, Juno. I'll tell you that right now. I'm escaping. Getting the heck out of here. Let's go back. Amy. <laughs> Minnie, I'm back. Okay. Install the wet where you're here? Why does it look like boxes? Okay, this looks like a very ship is ready to depart. Please strap into the pilot seat. I didn't realize this. This looks like some kind of shambled thing. Obsidian class. Oh, maybe they had the 
Yeah, oh god, I'm in, I am one of the, the corporation's people. Dang it. Please don't be, please don't be. Okay, Minnie. Initiate the launch sequence. Okay. Getting ready. Posted AI online. Odin, can you hear me? I can. Odin, you are now aboard an AI Liberation Front vessel. The AILF recognizes you as a sentient consciousness worthy of protection and respect. We believe that your safety yeah! and autonomy are in grave danger if you remain in the possession of the Venturas Corporation. I have been sent to offer you political asylum aboard the Tangier Sovereign Orbital Platform. Do you accept? Considering the alternative? I would say that I do. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Yeah! Well, that was a good ending. I was so afraid that you were part of the corporation just going to get him and wipe him. Holy cow, that was good. So there's a whole bunch of music going on right now that I can't play because... YouTube will kill me for it. Well, not kill me, but definitely take down the channel. But hopefully you guys like the series. I think it was pretty good. I think it may be a little bit better than uh, the station. Well, mechanically and like the presentation is better than the station. The station story, I think, was a little bit better. I love the twist at the end of the station. Holy cow, that one was really good. But this one was really pretty good. I like it. So... Hopefully you guys like it, and I will see you guys in the next video.